here are the items that came with the uh, Omega juicer. Um, really, we're talking about it. it's just a base unit that's like an engine so you plug in and a couple of juicer, one for the uh, uh, containers, one for the juice that comes out, which is this one, and then one for the pulp uh, feeder, this little bin that you can set stuff in and push down the feeder tube. And then there's an auger, a strainer, grinder thing. Uh, the uh, tube and where the auger goes into, and then this is just the end piece. Um, there's a couple other things. There's some attachments for extruding um, things like pasta and uh, the different, um, I guess, mixer things. That, they're just ends that fit in. Here's a, a plastic piece that replaces the uh, grinder strainer part if you're just mixing things and pushing them out um, and you don't have to grind them up. That's what this is for. So it just sort of pushes them through the auger and then this plastic piece and then uh, a strainer if you want like if you're doing orange juice stuff like that you want the um, the pulp that gets out through the grinder portion um, that's smaller this, this is what you would add on top of the uh, um, the uh, juice um, container and, uh, and then this is the the end you would use for extruding so same as this except it doesn't have an attachment on the end of it and then the, this thing just sets inside that uh, where the juice comes out, right? Where the strainer um, juice came out. Anyway, that's it. Um, these are all the parts. Um, if you want to see, I'm going to put them together in another video and then show you the, uh, the exact dimensions. But um, just for reference, um, the base unit itself is eh, not too tall. It's like nine inches tall and you, know, you look it's about seven inches wide and then by itself it's 10 inches deep and you know weighs a good 12 13 pounds something like that all right so i'm going to put it all together in another video and uh, that's next all right in this video i'm going to show how to put this uh, omega together to do some juicing so here's the uh, base um, motor part that plugs in and drives the whole thing. And uh, this thing's like, by itself, it's like mm, 13 pounds, something like that. Um, there's a, a feeder tube and a piece that plugs directly into this. Um, there's the auger itself, the strainer grinder piece. There's an end piece that has uh, sort of an adjustment for how thick you are grinding and um, what comes out of the end of this is the pulp and then there's a uh, feeding sort of tray that sits on top in a feeder tube and then of course the two um, one for the pulp and one for the juice that's coming out of the system and then uh, there's some extra pieces that are used for extruding there's a bunch of ends inserts with various holes and sizes um, we don't use this for juicing but um, this comes with it and a uh, a piece that doesn't grind, um, it just pushes it so that when it mixes, it just pushes out the end, right? So nothing comes out of the juicer bottom when this is inserted. And uh, it's like a blank end for um, that these caps fit in for the extruding part. There's no adjustments on that thing. There's also a strainer for the juice. Um, I'm not using that right now, but that would fit, you know, again, inside the uh, juicer um, container. Uh, for the output to strain out any like if you got pulp stuff like that I'm not going to be using that and then the cleaning brush. So all right, so really This auger fits in to this feeder tube pretty straightforward. There's a hole in the end, right? That the end of this fits into this unit and this fits into that unit. So it goes inside of this tube, right? And then comes out the the end so that that grabs and, and sort of um, chops up and then gradually squishes it out the end and then there's a a grinder strainer uh, combo and then the big sort of piece fits down on the bottom right so that goes in here where the uh, juice comes out 
okay? Fits, so you see there's a tab that fits inside there. And then the end just goes on that, and it, it turns counterclockwise when you're tightening, tightening it. So you actually goes on the end, right? And then clock, counterclockwise, right? And it's tightened. And then you have an adjustment on the end for uh, how tight it squeezes that. Um, this also then goes right into just straight in, don't strain it, and then this twists to close to hold it in place. If this ever turns even slightly, you're feeding this too much too quickly. So chop it down a little bit further. And then this uh, little feeder, feeder cap thingy goes on here where you can set stuff and then push it down into the feeder tube. Um, the juice catch goes underneath of this bottom tube and then out the end you put this other thing on the end to catch any of the pulp that's coming out the end and then of course you use this feeder piece right here so um, if you look at the size of this once it's put together this is exactly what it is you figure it's you know oh maybe maybe 14 inches deep from the end or I guess 18 if you're counting the uh, the catch you know end to end and then it is really only if you look at it it's only about seven inches less than seven inches wide you know front to back and then height wise with the feeder piece on it you're going to see it's Eh, I'd say 13 inches tall total. Um, only pick it up from this handle right here. And I always take this off just to make sure I don't make the mistake of grabbing this. But um, so you you just take it off if you're gonna move this thing, grab it by this handle. Okay. That's it. That's the assembly of the uh, Omega um, juicer. So let's plug this beast in. <laughs> So really, it's just got an auger thingy and a strainer inside there, and then there's a feeding tube right here. And there's a little handle to pick this thing up. See, so it's not too huge. It's still, it's plastic. I thought it was metal, but it's not. Um, I made some celery up, and I'm just going to show you what sort of mess. This is an entire. This is like one thing of celery. All right. So, and I think it's. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, so just turn it on in the back here. There's a forward and a reverse. Reverse, reverse you can only press it, but forward you can just turn on. All right? Little feeder thingy. Um, all right, so. Doing this one handed. <laughs> Celery. In you go. It's pretty quiet actually. So I'm just use the celery to feed it for now. And there's the juice is coming out. And the pulp comes out the end. Let's do a couple more sticks. Set them up here. If you want, you can use this feeder. It just sort of crunches it. And then sticks the juice out. You don't want to force it, but just sort of give it a gentle push. This one. Okay, so it grabs it pretty good. And there the pulp's coming out the end now. I just set that in there. See how quiet it is? Super quiet. Let's grab it a little more.
juice coming out. about halfway through this bag. I did carrots yesterday and this thing seemed to be straining a little bit so I had to back it off and cut them up a little bit. Uh, this big huge thing of carrots. And I could see this thing straining a little bit. So I can see how if you cram too much stuff in it at one time, it'll potentially bend. Maybe that's what some people did. See I'm not even holding this thing for it to be again. pretty much done. It's just going to drip out of it a little bit more and then come out the end. So I'm just going to clean it to show you how simple that is. Alright. A little, little bit of dripping coming out. So I just, uh, you flip this thing over and then this whole thing just comes right out like that. Alright. I think that's enough. Okay, so and just unscrews like that. Really simple. This filter thing comes out with the auger. So that's it. It's pretty simple, right? There's a little like toothbrush thingy. You scrub this, but really, you just get this. Washed out pretty good. And you could use a toothbrush on these if it's uh, sort of slimy. It's kind of like a, a greater strainer business, but it's not too bad. So it's got just a little bit of uh, stuff going it, just as you use the toothbrush on. And then this thing just rinses up, rinses off. And then the plastic feed tube really you just rinse it out. I mean, it's literally that easy to clean out. So it's pretty much clean. Okay. 
I'm just going to get the toothbrush here to scrub that real quick. And then this is the, uh, it's pretty dry. Oh, and this is how much juice it made. I missed one. Darn it. All right. So I got a, a toothbrush. <laughs> and you just, really, you just scrub with a toothbrush. Clean these. a little bit. Okay. And then it just, you clear those out. That's it. That's all there is to it. And the whole thing is just cleaned up.